Back with did to the homie. Now put yourself in out of ten people know me. See, my poems are my children. But yet to this day, I still don't know how to build a home for them. They that have the power to hurt, but will do none. Hip hop or Shakespeare, go! Number one, so T. Number one, so T. Hey. Number one, so T. Number one, so T. Every day we just. Open your way on that way, Korokosa. So don't say too much shimmer lines this masterpiece. When golden things are tangible, I spend my wisdom seeking more. But this is Africa, you might get killed for having views. If you wanna see a change, dog, you gotta start with you. Rockin' to the beat that is so deaf, the tone is outgrown and out rocks the rest. Rockin' to the beat that is so deaf, the tone is outgrown and out rocks the rest. Rockin' to the beat that is so deaf. The tone is out, burn it out, rock the rest. The Shoko International Spoken Word and Hip Hop Festival was a celebration of poetry, hip hop, and urban culture that we had running here in Zim. Back to the basics, Mike and Beat Blazer. Tonight is the latest attraction remake But a classic arrangement. Half the seats taken, I'm in H Town. I'm in H Town because I had I, I got I got invited. My band and I got invited to, to come to this Shoko Festival. It's a brewing pot for socially relevant cultural expression. This is dedication, this is my motivation Moving with the rhythm at a high isolation Occupation, urgency, operation deadly Is it how much you make in the dollar bill? Is it how many you say you're gonna kill? Or is it something that I could truly feel? Please tell me, please tell me, please tell me you know, when you, when you come here and you meet artists from Ghana, from UK, from America, from every, many, many other countries, you share one stage. For me, it makes me feel like I'm a, I'm a part of something big. And that, that what I do and what I say is not just, uh, it's not insignificant. Tears on my pillow as I gaze through that window Pain is internally inflicted by what I see. Scenes of destruction invading horizons, these clouds that choke and sting my eyes don't seem to want to leave the streets nor sky, so I race to the roof to attain a better view of what's happening to this place, this country, Kenya, my home. There I see families displaced, each member with a tale to tell of how they saw the angel of death creeping their homes to leave some dead they tell tales of how they fled their arrows and how they ran and ran until they ran out of breath because the fields traversed the first and blend and bright and the fires burnt everything they had living a trail of deaths. The mortician sent ascending from bodies of a particular people's descent. This only comprehends the magnitude of a country's cover up in depth. A lot of serious issues were addressed, like if you really listen to the poets, you know, the musicians, a lot of critical issues. But for now, I'll keep you safe, wrapped in my scared womb, safe from the stale promise of democracy, safe from hate propaganda pelting my ears from the radio relentlessly, safe from circus governments of disunity pawning our rights and freedoms like Xinjiang products at the flea market. It's a podium that didn't exist in Zim. Under the conditions that we're in, where you have to watch what you say, you can't really express yourself. There's always that fear of repercussions. I think spaces like this are key 
in, 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 in mobilizing youth and in, in bringing them together in challenging oppressive systems and challenging the oppressive system that we may find ourselves here in, uh, in Zimbabwe. Turkey. I hustle on the streets on a day to day, but the police affect me in a major way. The niggas hit the Congo and I'm trying to make the pay. But you never overstand after pain I face. See, I'm a windy vendor, style of your greater. I'm trying to make a living, but the system got me fed up. Never thought I left my life this way, but said I fight the system, I fight the pain. I remain perturbed, it remains the same. Can't explain the way the situation fades me. Should I just place the blame? Should I take my life back to the place it came? You see, life ain't easy, but they make it tougher. For my koro koza, you call him a hustler. I call it injustice, call it blood clot. When the people are neglected, who's calling the shots, man? I said, who's calling the shots, man? And the whole idea behind behind Shoko was to be able to use, to use hip hop, to use poetry uh, as a positive force for social change. My question is simple, it's for you dog. Would you die for hip hop? <laughs> would I die for hip hop? I, I would like to think so. I mean, I, I, I hope I will die for hip hop, whatever hip hop uh, means. And I don't mean that in a romantic, you know, come and kill me sense, but I mean... <laughs> no, I, I, mean, I mean it in, in a sense of, 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 as an artist, your art is in it should be, I hope, an extension of, of who you are. It's not asking an artist to stop making their art is like saying, well, stop breathing to, to me, you know? And, and so I very much feel like this is something I've lived and breathed and hopefully we'll, we'll die doing. My God, you're so great, cause I feel so great when I meditate on the word. Yo, it makes my mind elevate, thoughts begin to penetrate when I meditate on the word. So he keeps heaven and hell at an arm's length, just close enough to humor himself with the fragility of both. Flipping tongues, exhausting lungs, I long for the air the angels breathe. It's like, she got style, class, apparently she's divine lines, wrapped around the little finger lingers. The boom back rap, we're taking it back, make the music for the people, make the crowd react. African government's in a very hard predicament between trying to alleviate poverty and still address health and education issues and still gotta deal with this death which are very illegitimate conglomerates are fostering the smuggling of gold. Buying at low prices or the sponsoring a war. The so next time you cop a phone, you're feeling like the nicest. Bear in mind, you might be just fueling your crisis. Hey, hey, hey! Let me get some of this, yeah. The person that I am is far deeper than my name. I got the bunch of kings of ever seeping through my vein. Generation of a people surviving. The worst situations like we can just stop paying. Come on, come on, come on. And I think you know it's 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 key it's key also to be able to inspire and encourage a new generation of artists so that we can start seeing the growth of a new generation of young filmmakers, of young hip hop artists, of young uh, spoken word artists, of social media practitioners who who are creative and who are creatively pushing for pushing for a change. And still I thank you for spinning vinyls on turning tables, for MCs spinning on higher levels, for breakers Ooh. rotating 360 degree angles, for beatboxers booming, for spray cans bombing, for the lyrical battles, the street hustles, the Babylon struggles, for in your movements I was reborn, once a lost one in the wilderness, now a freedom priestess fully grown, with an attitude of infinite gratitude. I thank you. I thank you. Hip hop. Just looking at that banner behind us, which says our word is our weapon. That's the, the responsibility we have. And also at the same time, to also create artistic society whereby we, we are trying to bring about some kind of social change. We're here together, you know, we're discussing th something. I'm here in, in Zimbabwe now, I'm meeting up with people. There might be some re relations happening that will continue for years from now, and we might be doing music together, might be doing film project together. So that's the true beauty of hip-hop, you know, that it really brings people from all walks of life, 
from all countries and societies together. I, I see it as a selfless festival, that the focus shouldn't be on the festival. It should be on the impact on the minds of the people that attend it. Hopefully if there's positive repercussions that go on into the societies and communities that these people are coming from, if it benefits people and gets them to see that another point of view exists and it's a positive one, then I think it'll be doing like a tremendous good. Thank you. 